let me tell you something about dating today and getting we getting it by any means necessary. These dudes is lying to y'all. These dudes is lying to y'all. And if that, if these can watch this video and say that I'm capping, that they don't change themselves, they don't change their tonality and all this, they some liars. There ain't no truth in them niggas. They all lying. All right. If these sons of can say that I'm capping and I'm lying about them changing themselves and that they don't text back fast and all these different things I said that they do employing these damn strategies on women, then my thing is. <laughs> they fucking lying, all of them. Yo, what's going on guys? So the first thing I wanna say, man, hit that like button, uh, subscribe, go ahead, check out your boy Patreon. Let's get right into this. So the reason why I'm making this video is because recently I made a video about Taekwondo contradicting himself. It wasn't no exposed video, it wasn't no hate video, nothing like that. The whole video was just showing how he say never lie to women. Uh, shout out to Steve the Dean as well. Uh, uh, he, he he hate everybody that lie to women, right? He call you all types of bitches and all types of shit, right? He'll disrespect you as a man just because you disagree with what he think. But anyway, um, you know, it was about lying to women and all this shit. The reason I made that video, guys, was not no fucking hating shit. Y'all missing my point. Some of y'all are. The reason why I made that video, bro, was because I'm trying to show y'all that every dating coach is on here lying to y'all. And then they, on top of them lying to, to, to y'all, they lie to women too. Everybody does it. And what I'm saying is not no, oh, shame them for that or it's a big deal or you're a hypocrite. I, I don't give a fuck about none of that. My whole thing is, why are we acting like we on some fucking moral shit? Why are we doing that? that that's the thing that I don't understand. That's the thing that makes no sense. Guys, I'm a big component of Malcolm X. I'm a big supporter of Malcolm X. I used to read a lot of his books, okay? So let me do, in honor of the late, great Malcolm X, let me tell you something about dating today and getting pussy. We getting it by any means necessary. That mean if you got to lie, you lie. Why? Because we getting the pussy by any means necessary. That mean if you got to tell the girl what she need to hear by any means necessary, all right? Rest in peace to Malcolm X. I just had to make it very clear, okay? Because I'm trying to be this modern motivational speaker for y'all, and I got a pull from one of the greats by any means necessary, okay? So what you'll hear is you'll hear a lot of dating coaches say, don't change yourself for women and be honest. But this is the thing, bro. We're all faking our value. All of us are pretending to be something that we not. We all changing to, do, to be something we not so we can get the results that we want. And this is why I tell you guys to pretend okay so if that means if you're not actually busy what do i tell you act as if you busy you see they just want to talk about these little lies and stuff that i said about lying about if you had a girl or lying to create value when it comes to uh uh if you talk to girls before or you slept with a girl but what they not what they not recognizing is their own hypocrisies they do shit too change it for fucking women so they'll say change for don't don't change for women and they'll say this and that but this is what this whole dating community is based off of it's all of us changing for women if a girl texts you right now and you keep texting back and forth for her fast and you responding to her everything fast i promise you the girl is going to lose interest i know this you know this and guess who else knows this the dating coaches so when they say they not going uh, you know, ch change who they are and shit. This is why they talk to women in a certain way. If they don't change for women, riddle me this. Why won't they talk to women how they talk to guys on the camera? Why don't they talk to women in they fucking higher octave voice when they on stream or when they playing games or, or and shit like this? Why don't they do that? If they not changing for women, you know, because they are fucking changing for women. They do that fucking low tonality voice and this seductive ass shit because they changing for women. Uh, uh, why is it that if they get a girl's number, they don't text or call her right after? Why don't they do that? Why? Because they fucking faking value. They know that they not supposed to text her or show their hand because it's going to lower her fucking interest. But they not going to talk about that. We all changing ourselves for women. Stop falling for this bullshit. Never change for women. Motherfucker, you change. Why, why don't you pick up that phone then? Right when she texts you, text her ass back. Why is it when you have a good night with a girl, you don't tell her how much you like her and how you can't wait to see her again after the first date? Why don't we do that? Why do y'all play the fucking mystery card and, and, and you, you motherfuckers change your whole uh, countenance and demeanor and everything because you fucking faking high value. The dating coaches is also faking the high value and they not keeping it real with y'all. That's the difference between me and them. I'm going to fucking keep it real. And I know y'all niggas is trying to get some fucking pussy over here. Y'all trying to get some girls. Y'all tired of this fucking honest, real, raw approach. That's just my philosophy. Now, if you want to be Mr. Honest, man, go ahead. But you about to have a whole lot of lonely nights. And most of my guys have been having them fucking lonely nights. You've been honest and you fucking sick and tired of this shit. Everybody is doing it. Fake it till you fucking make it. By any means necessary. Do, do y'all get what I'm saying? 
by any means necessary. And I'm not going to back down and let none of y'all or net, net, none of them dating coaches tell me otherwise. And I'm not going to let them keep feeding y'all this bullshit neither. They, they just going to keep feeding it to you and like nobody's supposed to come up and say something. A motherfucker like me need to exist. A motherfucker like me need to exist. It need to be somebody always on a fucking rampage with this perspective because we only get one side of the story. That's not how fucking life works. See, they, that's why they get upset. Or that's why the, fuck, the fans get upset and some of the dating coaches and shit. It's because they want everybody to say what they going to say. Well, bitch, I ain't got the fucking same philosophy as you. I ain't the same motherfucker as you. I'm not about to get on here and say all this same shit that y'all say. And it's nothing. These dudes is lying to y'all. These dudes is lying to y'all. And if them, if these motherfuckers can watch this video and say that I'm capping, that they don't change themselves, they don't change their tonality and all this shit, they some motherfucking liars. There ain't no motherfucking truth in them niggas. They all lying. All right. If these sons of bitches can say that I'm capping and I'm lying about them changing themselves and that they don't text back fast and all these different things I said that they do employing these damn strategies on women, then my thing is. <laughs> they fucking lying, all of them. And the difference between me and a guy like Justin J or fucking Ty Worldwide or even Steve the Dean and them and all them other guys is that I fucking own my shit. I'm not about to get on here and bullshit and act like I'm such a man and high character. Yeah, is it good to try to be honest and all this shit in your normal life and all that shit? Yeah, but we ain't dealing with some fucking normal creatures. These women is fucking illogical. If you tell a girl you saving yourself for marriage, that don't get her pussy wet. See, when she said it, it's valuable because men value women that's not promiscuous. They know this. This is why they lie about their body count. This is why if a girl saves herself for marriage and she, she knows it's going to be valuable to different types of guys. It don't work the fucking same way on the other side. No matter what they tell you, no matter what they tell you, they don't want a guy who's never had a girlfriend before. They do not want a guy who's never fucked before. You can keep believing the bullshit if you want to, but I'm just telling you like it is, all right? And all the women, they gonna watch this, and, and the guys is gonna watch this, and they gonna say, oh, blah, 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 and they gonna, oh, I'm actually lying, and you know, he's not a real man, he's a bitch, and all that shit. Man, listen, I don't give a fuck. I do what the fuck I gotta do, all right? I don't give a fuck. I do what the fuck I gotta do. Ain't nobody that fucking busy. Okay, and this is my thing. These guys is not that fucking busy. They ain't nobody that fucking busy to where they, they they'll say, yeah, they'll say, oh yeah, I'm really super busy, man, and uh, you know, I'm not faking nothing. You know, I'm actually on my grind, bitch. Ain't nobody that fucking busy, my nigga. That's the thing I'm trying to get y'all to see. Ain't nobody that fucking busy, nigga. At some point in four five hours, you ain't sending that text back. You went, you took a fucking shit. You know, it's 2024. Everybody used taking their fucking phone to go take a shit. You sit on your phone, you watch some YouTube videos or TikTok. You you on that fucking phone. You you had to eat. You had to eat, then you had a lunch break or something. You had a fucking piss break. You had something. But if you ask these motherfuckers, they gonna act like, oh, I ain't faking nothing and I was just so busy. Ain't nobody that got there busy. Even me, guys, I'm busy as fuck. I'm busy all fucking day. I got consultations now that I'm doing. I got fucking songwriting sessions that I've been doing. I work a fucking job that I don't get home till 6.37. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning. I go shower. I work out. I go to the gym. I'm making these fucking videos. I'm writing notes for the fucking videos. I'm busy as shit. And even I get moments where I could send the text and I choose not to sometimes sometimes now sometimes I am that busy but I do get times especially with new girls where I purposely I just won't text back she not priority to me maybe I got other girls I need to text back or maybe there's something else to do but I could have decided to text back I ain't prioritizing her yet but I could have did it. And I know y'all ain't as busy as me. A lot of y'all not that busy. So I'm telling you to fucking fake it till you make it. Don't listen to these fucking dating coaches telling you not to change and all this shit. Because this is the thing. Ask yourself this one question. And this is where I'm going to end it right here. Do you want to be a saint? Or do you want to get some pussy? Do you want to have integrity and a name? Like Steve the Dean was saying. Or do you want to fuck or get a girlfriend? Ask yourself this. I'm going to just keep it like that. Because these dudes, they're going to say, they'll, they'll say all this shit. And at the end of the day, they still lie to women, though. They still change they self for women. These motherfuckers, like I told y'all in the other video, if you put on fucking cologne, nigga, you, you changing yourself. That ain't your natural scent. If you put on some fucking contacts so you can see, you changing yourself. That ain't your fucking natural eyesight no more. You see, your eyes is fucked up. Why don't you just keep them off? Your, your fucking hairline. You put on some nice ass clothes. You put on a fucking chain. You fucking line up your beard and all that shit. Why are you doing that for women? 
Why you doing? Why you changing that? Why you changing your voice when you talk to women? Why ain't nobody that fucking masculine? Ain't nobody that fucking seductive? Y'all be trying to act like oh, this is just me, hundred percent. It ain't fucking you all the time. Hey, y'all can keep listening to this bullshit if y'all want. Women can't tell. Y'all be acting like women is Inspector Gadgets and fucking Sherlock Holmes, like they can fucking figure out if you bullshitting them or something. They can't fucking tell. If you haven't noticed, women's discernment, most of them is fucking piss poor. It's piss poor discernment. They pick terrible guys all the time. Look at their fucking decisions and their actions. They not fucking woman's intuition. This is that's all bullshit. They can't tell nothing. Fake it till you make it. Say what you gotta say. Do what you gotta do. Act high value. Act high confidence until you get the fucking ass. That's it. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time.